Hello and welcome back to the third section of this video course titled Building Your Own RESTful Server. In this video titled Working with the Datasnap Wizard, I will talk about the Datasnap technology and we will go through options in Datasnap Wizard. So let me say a few words about Embarcadero Datasnap. This is the quote from Embarcadero Wikipay. Formerly known as Midas, Datasnap is a Delphi technology that allows the development of multi-tier applications, most notably multi-tier database applications. The Datasnap technology continues to evolve as the demand for distributed computing increase. The technology behind Datasnap has moved beyond the approach of remoting data through the Microsoft Com DCOM technology to a more open communication approach based on TCP IP. This evolution has allowed the Datasnap technology to expand its capabilities to include complete middleware technology. One of the key features of the technology is that it is fast, fast to build, fast to deploy and fast to execute in production. Datasnap now has expanded capabilities, allowing technology to work within almost any standard-based infrastructure. While the latest Datasnap is still backward compatible with the com dcom approach, it now can communicate natively through TCP IP and alternatively through HTTP or HTTPS. At the same time, the business logic found in Datasnap servers can be broadcast as RESTful services. More info about Datasnap you can find from the provided link on Delphi Wikipay. So, let's run Datasnap Wizard. To run the Datasnap application wizard, we need to do the following. From the menu, select File, New and Other. In this shown window, under Delphi Projects, select Datasnap Server node and finally select Item Datasnap REST application. Press OK and the Datasnap wizard will be shown. The first thing we need to select is a platform. Leave it as it is with a checkbox in front of Windows, but keep in mind that we can also build a Datasnap server for Linux platform and press Next. After selecting the platform, we need to select a type of Datasnap REST application. Types can be a patch dynamic link module, standalone console application, standalone application and ISAPI dynamic link library. Leave it on standalone application and press next. Here we can select what library will be used for graphic interface VCL or FireMonkey. Select VCL application and press next. In this page, we need to specify the port that the Datasnap REST application will use to listen to the client's requests. We can also test is entered port opened by pressing the test port or to find open port by pressing find open port button and we can specify will it use HTTPS protocol. I will use port 8080 as it is and will not use HTTPS, so after entering this I will press Next. On this page we can select the set of features required for our application. The only feature we will use is Simplify Dispatcher, because we want that the REST Dispatcher to support REST only, so check Simplify Dispatcher and uncheck Sample fi Web Files and Sample Methods. Press Next. On this page, we can select the ancestor type of the server methods class. We will select and use tData module, uh, select it and press next. This page should only appear if we selected mobile connectors on the server features page of this wizard, but there is a small bug in Datasnap wizard, so leave it as it is and press finish. Wizard now will create project files for us with features we selected. Just go to File and Save All to save the projects and we are done. 